Hello my sweet friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to you all and I'm so glad you chose to stop by. Today I'm going to share with you how to create summer florals in pink in one stroke style of painting. The materials that we would need today for the project are all listed over here so let's get started. Now in the first chapter I would be talking about choosing the background for the floral painting. Now this video is going to be a really awesome tutorial of some pink summer florals and it has a great significance as well and I will be talking about it later in the video. I have already thought about certain elements for today's project so let me tell you about them. So first one is a white card base and it is a side opening card which is 4.2 inches by 5.8 inches in size. The next element is a white watercolor paper. This is embossed as you can see and I have dropped some pale yellow watercolor on it. Its size being 3.7 inches by 5.2 inches. Next comes a little piece of white watercolor paper which I have colored with pink acrylic and that is around 3.7 inches by 2 inches in size and lastly I have the main element and that is an oval. It is around 4 inches on the long side and 3 inches on the short side. And this will be the backdrop for today's florals. Once the painting is done, I would be putting together all the elements to create a note card. Now if you would like to know how that kind of a backdrop can be created, then please click on the i button which appears at the right hand corner of this particular screen. So let's move on to chapter number 2. Creating the pink floral in one stroke style of painting. I have chosen a very interesting palette. Let's see what it is. I have permanent rose acrylic color, pink acrylic color, white and mauve acrylic color. I have a flat brush number 6 in hand. I'm dipping it in permanent rose and pink. I'm adding a bit of white to it and then I go ahead and add a bit of mauve as well which just somehow went out of the screen. I'm sorry about that and here I'm trying to blend the colors well. So this is multi loading of the brush as far as one stroke style of painting is concerned. Then I go back to the little backdrop. And here you can see that I have a flat brush number 4 in hand and I have taken some permanent rows and mauve on it and I created a loose form of a rose floral. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and I am having permanent rows, pink and white acrylic on it. And here I have started to create the first layer of the petals of the central rose. So this is the one stroke style of pink rose in the making. Please follow me as I try to create the pink summer floral layer by layer. As I speak, my country Bharat, India is celebrating the month of Baisak, that is the spring harvest season in India. The Baisakhi festival is the first day of the month of Baisak. It is also the day for the Indian solar new year according to the Hindu Vikram Sambat calendar and is known by various regional names in different parts of my country. 
Baisak is a month of the Hindu calendar that corresponds to April slash May in the Gregorian calendar. Baisak heralds the onset of summer season in the country and it also symbolizes new beginnings. It is a time to give thanks for the harvest and to pray for a prosperous new year ahead. Today's summer florals in pink are dedicated to the universe as a token of gratitude and heartfelt thanksgiving to the flora, fauna and the beautiful elements of nature which help to sustain life on this planet. So, dear friends, here are my Navavarsha wishes for you in Sanskrit. And I quote, Surya Samvedana Pushpe Deepti Karunya Gandhani Labdhava Shubham Navavarshesman Kuryat Sarvasya Mangalam Which means, as the sun gives light, the sensation gives birth to compassion and the flowers always spread their fragrance. The same way may our new year be a pleasant one for us every day and every moment. A very happy new year to you all. Well, on that note, I come back to the painting. And right now, I'm using my flat brush number 6 to create the folds and the highlights of the petals. Here, I'm using the corner of my flat brush number 6 to create these little things which help to add a lot of interest and intricacy to the floral painting. You will always find me going back and forth between the petals because I keep on doing that action until I'm happy with the way it looks. And in case if you would like to add more of highlights to the painting, then you just go ahead and add more of white acrylic to that particular spot. And that helps to create a lot of difference between the dark areas and the light areas and that gives more depth to the painting. Here I have picked up my liner brush and I have acrylic white on it and I am trying to create the center of the flower. Once done, I move on to chapter number 3 that is painting the foliage and here comes the palette. I have olive green, sap green, bamboo green and white acrylic and I am having a flat brush number 6 which I am loading with sap green, bamboo green and white. So this is triple loading of the brush. Here I am trying to blend the colors well. Next, I go ahead and pick up a liner brush and I have bamboo green on it and I am trying to create some very light stems. I am using some black scratch paper just to protect the painting from getting disturbed. I go ahead and turn the stems into very pale bamboo green leaf clusters and I am still using my liner brush. The main darker leaves will come on top of these lighter leaf clusters. And you will see in a moment. Well, 
once the leaf clusters are done i go ahead and pick up my liner brush once again and i have sap green and a bit of olive green on it and i'm trying to paint around the edges of the pink floral Once happy, I move on to creating the one stroke style of leaves. Picked up my flat brush number 6 and I have already loaded it with sap green, bamboo green and white. I go ahead and add a bit of olive green to the mix at times in case I want darker leaves. So these are one stroke style of pretty leaves. Do you like the painting so far? And would you like to learn these kind of floral and leaf skills? In that case, I would encourage you to please visit my past videos and I would be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below and you will get a fair idea of one stroke style of painting. This is a wonderful technique and that helps to create lovely floral images and nature elements as well. The once row style of leaves are done. Let's paint some rose buds. Here I go ahead and pick up my liner brush and I have sap green on it and I'm creating a couple of stems right on top of the main floral. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 6 and I have pink and white acrylic on it. And here I'm trying to create a couple of rose buds. You like them? Are they pretty? Let me know in the comment box below. It gives me great pleasure to read what you think about the painting projects. And yes, in case you have queries or suggestions, please feel free to put them down in the comments as well. Here I'm back to the liner brush and I have sap green on it and I'm creating the little leaves at the base of the rose buds. Once I'm happy with the painted panel, I go ahead and assemble the note card. Let's go through the elements again. So here I have my white note card base. At this point, I have brought in another element that is a green cardstock panel cut to size to frame around the embossed panel. And this is how I have mounted it on the white card base. Next, I bring in the little pink paper and finally, I mount the painted panel on the rest of the elements and this is how it looks i also went ahead and added a sentiment and a little satin bow to make the card more adorable what do you think does it look pretty also did you enjoy watching me paint the summer flowers in pink in one stroke style i would love to read your responses do connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. I am eternally grateful to you for all the love and support you show to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching till the end. Here are some of my past floral painting videos. You might like them too. We'll be back soon with more floral painting tutorials. Till then. Stay tuned and take very good care of yourself. Bye-bye.